Hey folks, this is Chris. Welcome to yet another on the Citizen Carry channel. And today we're going to keep this video pretty casual. You know, I'm just, you can't get any more casual than I am right now. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting here in my pajamas. And I've got my morning coffee here. Oh, and my cup reads, I just want to watch Hallmark Christmas movies all day. That's true. And today, let's just go ahead and take this video kind of casual, like a couple people sitting across the breakfast table talking about what they carry and why they carry it. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because I frequently get asked by people what they should carry, new concealed carriers and stuff like that. They want to know what they should carry, what do I carry. I could tell you what I carry, such as I'm going to do in this video here, but you're going to be making up your own mind on what you want to carry. And the reason I say that is because everybody's systems are going to be different. If you're a new concealed carrier, the way you do things now is probably going to be radically different two years from now based on what you've learned about what you like, what kind of job you have, what your body type is. Uh, and the list goes on, the whys and the conditions. And you will find yourself surprised by what you have settled with and what you have discarded in your systems. So whatever you've got in your gun safe right now, don't sell your soul to it because it might be different later on. But I'm gonna tell you from my perspective and only from my paradigm, what I carry and why. And take what I say and then watch some other YouTube videos from some of these other good channels and uh, take what they have to say into consideration and just add it to your own knowledge base. But you're going to be the one who decides what's best for you and what you carry. And first, let's go ahead and evacuate some guns off the table. Um, here's lightweight. Now, carry. The very essence of carry is concealability for a lot of people. And these are a couple of lightweight guns. I'm not even sure if this thing is loaded. Jeez, I should check these guns when I bring them to the table. Uh, these are lightweight guns, and these are low-capacity guns. And this one here, I brought this out, though I'm not really sure that I carry this very often. Once in a while, I'll stuff this in my coat pocket, on the inside coat pocket, if I want some extreme concealability. But these also fit well in your uh, front pants pockets, if you really want that kind of deep concealment. But I truthfully have not been carrying this. Even during the summer, I've been carrying this, which I could carry either, but during the summer I've been carrying this simply just because I like it more. And it is lightweight, but it's only got a five round capacity. And I'll usually carry a couple speed loaders. I'll throw them in my front cargo pack pockets or whatever. And uh, off I go with this thing, just because I like this. I'm very comfortable with it. I feel like I shoot it well. So uh, seasonal considerations, that's one thing. Where do you live? How hot is it? How cold is it? And what are you gonna use the gun for? as well as your considerations like what kind of neighborhood do you live in? What kind of neighborhood are you cutting through? Are you going to need protection? And all sorts of other stuff. While we all need protection at all times, there's certainly different environmental considerations to take in uh, to make your decision for what you're gonna carry and why. These are good ones to have because they might be low capacity, but they are very high concealability. So. I have a couple of those. That's part of my system. They have a couple of small guns, but I carry this one of my small guns more than the others. And uh, I have a couple speed loaders for this. I'm good to go. With this one here, I've got it inside the waistband holster right here. All right. So that's just a simple one that I got on Amazon. I do believe that this was less than $20. And so there's an inside the waistband holster for this here and my outside the waistband multi holster, which I like wearing this outside the waistband because it's very light. And this multi holster with this ring fashion here brings it up really close to you. So it kind of goes along with your body curve. And you can believe me with a belly like mine, that's a body curve. But having something that's in a small package and believe me, me and small package are synonymous. It's good to have something that you're going to be comfortable carrying it in like these holsters here i've got a sticky holster for each of my small guns i recommend them these are those remora holsters outstanding so and now we're still on seasonal considerations there are times where the weather is colder like during the late autumn during the winter where i carry most things outside the waistband but with a shirt or a coat pulled over the firearm to conceal it 
So I'm sort of outside the waistband, sort of concealing. And uh, this here is just a regular holster. I can't even remember where I got this, but this is the HK P30SK. Now we're moving up in capacity. This is a 10 round, 9 millimeter handgun. And let me tell you guys, the P30SK is a very comfortable shoe. Tattoo Cat shot this thing and he said, wow. And that's exactly what I said the first time I shot one of these two. And sometimes I carry this thing just because I think it's cool and I love it. That could be your reasons for carrying some of the things. Just make sure you practice with whatever your cool weapon is. There's nothing wrong with that. I like carrying this and I like the way it feels in my hand. Very ergonomically nice. Very rich and luxurious. Like taking a bath in chocolate. This is a very good gun to carry. 10 rounds, and that's about the same size as the Glock 26. And speaking of seasonal considerations, this one here is versatile. You can carry this any season because this is a slim, single stack, seven round, nine millimeter striker fired handgun. And this is the Ruger LC9S. I'm telling you, I think that this is one of the best single stack nine millimeters out there, and it has a remarkable trigger. Let's go ahead and do it just for fun. You've got some travel here. It stops and then a smooth into the brake. And the reset is barely audible, but you know it's resetting. Which is far different from the first version of the LC9. A good single stack 9mm handgun might be something you want to carry. Uh, if you want to go slimmer, if you're trying to conceal more. But again, you're giving it up to capacity. This is only 7 rounds. And going on, here's my 15 round carry right here. This replaced the CZ P10C, which believe me, this is taking nothing away from the CZ P10C. That is a freaking outstanding gun. And if you ever get a chance to shoot the CZ P10C, do so. Because it is a great gun to shoot. And I think a way better stock trigger than any Glock stock trigger. You can take my word for that. But this is my striker fired 15 rounder right here. This is the Sig Sauer P320X Compact. I just did a video on that. I'll probably link to it. And just like the P30SK, I carry this on a holster on the outside. This right here, I love this gun so much that I went and got it a really nice holster. I got it a better holster, right? Chocolate brown with a blood red backing. I like, if I'm going to be wearing warm winter coats during the cold winter, to have something that I can just reach inside my coat and strong side grab it, rather than going through multiple layers of clothing just to get to your firearm that's inside the waistband. So during the winter, I found that it works better for me to uh, wear something like this strong side carry just like this on the outside. That's my preference, but you know, your mileage may vary. You may have a different body type. You might have different things to take into consideration, but uh, this is my 15 rounder. And I don't really carry 17 rounders. I don't know that there's any reason for it other than it's probably a bigger gun. Say my Beretta M9. I don't carry that around because it's a big heavy gun, but at the same time, for a 7 and 8 round capacity, I don't carry around the 1911, even though that's 45 ACP. But with whatever gun you choose to carry as a new concealed carrier, there's a lot of things that you're going to want to take into consideration, and that is going to evolve. So cut yourself some slack. Think through what it is you're going to buy, definitely. I mean, I mean, don't just say, oh, that's a cool looking gun, run out and get it. You want to take its capacity and its weight and everything like that into consideration. These are what I carry for the most part, and this one less than all of them, but these are what I carry more than anything. And of all of these guns, um, which one do I carry more? Drum roll! This one. The Smith & Wesson Model 642. And again, whatever you choose to carry is going to depend on what you're doing with it. Do you want more concealment? Do you want less concealment? Everything is all dependent on what it is that you're going to do and why you do it. So that is something that nobody can tell you. You know that for yourself. And again, you will evolve as you carry. And I think one of the things that I didn't take into consideration was caliber choices. You notice everything here on this table is 9mm or below. So that, I guess I evolved to only want to carry 9mm and below. 
A lot of you may be tempted to listen to somebody, you know, carry a 10 millimeter. No, no, I'd carry a 45 ACP. And that's fine if you want to carry them. And if you can capably do follow-up shots and you get good with them and that's what you want to carry, that's freaking awesome. But don't let the Napoleons pressure you into carrying a round that you're not comfortable carrying or a round that you're not comfortable shooting. Make sure you make the decision on how well you do with each of the firearms that you have too. I wouldn't really have a firearm in my system that I'm not capable of shooting very quickly or very accurately. For example, you're not going to see a 44 Magnum in my carry system because I don't think that I could capably do rapid follow-up shots with a 44 Magnum. I mean, that's just me. And again, this is where we get down to our own personal systems again. But I would, again, like to caution you, don't let the testosterone addicts dictate what you carry. You carry based on your own comfort level and your own proficiency and your own set of circumstances, and you'll be just fine. But folks, that's it. I appreciate you watching. And before you go, do me a favor. Hit that like button and that share button and make sure you subscribe. That would be doing me a big solid. I appreciate you watching. My name is Chris. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak right now. That's 2improper at gmail.com. Right, and I will answer you, provided you're going to be polite about whatever it is you have to say and if I've got the time. Thanks for watching, folks. God bless these United States of America and keep on protecting your families, yourselves, your country, its flag, and its honor. It's the right thing to do.